Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this video is about C++ date time. Upon completion of this video, you could be able to learn the current date and time, format time using struct tm. Start natin ngayon dito sa definition. Para ma-access natin yung date and time related functions and structures, kailan natin mag-include ng C time na header file sa C++ program natin. May four time related types ang date and time sa C++. So we have the clock t, time t and the size t and yung tm na tinutukoy. So yan yung mga four time related types. So there are four times related types natin kanina. So, yung na-discuss yung clock t, time t, size t, and tm. The types clock t, size t, and time t are capable of representing the system time and date as some sort of integer. And the structure type tm holds the date and time in the form of C structure having the following elements. So, kung makikita ninyo, ito yung sample ng struct tm. So, in tm second, so ang second si to is 0 to 61, tm mean 0 to 59, tm r we have 0 to 24, tm m day 1 to 31, tm man, big sabihin month yon, tm year, yan yung year since 1900s, tm w day, so yan yung day since Sunday. TMY day, yan yung day since January 1st. And TMISDST, yan yung hours of daylight saving time. Following are the important functions which we can use while working with the date and time in C or C++ na program. All these functions are part ng C and C++ library. So, start natin dito sa time underscore t time tapos time underscore t time so ito yung ibig sabihin nito this returns the current calendar time of the system in number of seconds elapsed since January 1, 1970 so if the system has no time so ibig sabihin point 0.1 is returned so let's next naman tayo sa car c time constant time underscore t and time so this returns a pointer to a string of the form day, month, year. So, ito yung format niya. Hours, minutes, seconds, year, backslash n, backslash 0. So, yung struct tm naman, local time yun. So, const time, underscore t, pointer ng time. So, this returns a pointer to the tm structure representing the local time naman. So, pag clock, underscore t, clock, void so ang nirereter naman dito na value is approximates the amount the time the calling program has been running so a value of point 1 is returned if the time is not available ito pa yung mga ibang function so meron tayong car as time construct time so, this returns a pointer to a string that contains the information stored in the structure pointer by the time converted in the form na ganito. So, day, month, date. So, ganito ang format niya. Hours, minutes, seconds, year, backslash, and backslash, zero. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na struct, tm, gm time, const time, time. So, ito naman ang ginagawa dito sa GM time na to. This returns a pointer to the time in the form of a TM structure. So, the time is represented by coordinated universal time o yung UTC na tinatawag which is essentially Greenwich Mean Time o yung GMT na tinatawag. Meron din tayong tinatawag na time, MK time, yung struct TM pointer ng time. So, ito naman, nagre-return siya ng the calendar time equivalent to the time or of the time found in the structure pointed to the ba to a certain time. Meron din tayong tinatawag na double diff time. So, time, time 2, time underscore t, time 1. So, ang ginagawa dito, these functions kinakalculate niya yung different in seconds between 1 ng time 1 and time 2. So, tinitignan niya yung pagkakaiba nila o yung difference ng in seconds lang naman. Ng time 1 at saka time 2 ninyo kung sakaling kailangan ninyo ng ganyang function. So, meron din tayong st o yung size underscore t, yung 
strf time naman, so this function can be used to format date and time in a specific format. So, kung gusto nyo gumawa ng sarili nyong format, yan yung tawagin ninyo. So, pakita ko ngayon yung sample program na kung saan nag-show siya ng date and time. So, let's say for example, syempre, para gumana yung function ng date and time, kailangan yung tawagin yung C time na header. So, C time, include header, mag-declare kayo, mag-tawagin mag nyo sa header yung C time. So, int main, so, di-display natin yung current date time based on your current system. So, kukunin mo muna, time underscore t now is equal to time. So, ito yung ginagamit para matawag ninyo yung current system date and time ng unit ninyo. Then, ngayon, i-convert nga yun sa string. Yung nakuha natin. So, car pointer dt is equal to c time and now. So, mako-convert na, na-convert na natin siya to into a string. So, di-display natin siya. Let's say, for example, see out the local date and time is, so, magpapakita dyan, Tuesday, April 22, 11, 40, 20, 21. Kasi yun yung date ngayon. Yun yung date na nasa system ko. Ngayon, convert natin siya to TM struct for UTC naman. So, ito yung para, di ba? So, we have here the TM Asterisk GMTM is equal to GM time and now. So, tinawag natin ulit yung now na current date and time. So, di ba ang in-store sa now yung, ga, yung date and time sa system unit ninyo. So, yun yung tinatawag natin dito. So, i-convert natin siya into UTC. So, DT is equal to ASC time, GMTM. So, see out the UTC date and time is yung na-format na gamit yung UTC na functions. Kasi balikan natin dito, ito yung part na yon Kung gusto nyo siyang i-convert into UTC na time. So, yun yung gamit niya. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo dito, magkaiba, ito nang mangyayari. So, we have the, the UTC date and time is Tuesday, April 22, 03, 40, 20, 20, 22. So, yan yung sample ng UTC date and time. So, nasa sa inyo pa din kung ano ang gusto nyo gamitin na format. So, ito yung format time using yung struct TM. Ang TM structure is very important while working with date and time in either C na language or C++ na language. This structure, nag-hold siya ng date and time in a form of C structure. So, most of the time related functions na basa functions na related sa date, time, ganyan, Madalas gumagamit ng TM structure. So, following is an example which make use of various date and time related functions ng TM structure. So, while using structure, sabi niya dito, gumawa ko ng assumption that you have basic understanding on C structure on how to access structure basing using the arrow na operator or using an operator. So, tingnan natin dito. So, we have the here, C time, syempre para mag-function yung time. T time now, so para makuha nyo yung time sa, sa unit ninyo, yung current time sa unit ninyo, kailangan nyo ng time underscore T. Then, now, yung pangalan niya is equal to time. So, C out, number of seconds since January 1, 1970 is, yung tatawagin nyo na ngayon, yung now. So, we have here now. So, TM, then yung pointer niya, LTM, is equal to local time and now. So, LTM natin, yung local time and now, kinonvert natin o kinol natin yung local time ng and now. So, ano ba ang local time kung babalikan nyo dito sa mga, dito sa mga functions. Ang local time, this returns sa pointer, no, the TM is structure representing your local time. So, re-represent natin yung local time. So, tinawag natin ang local time. So, LTM, kinonvert natin yung current date based on the system ng into local time. So, we have here now. So, print various components of TM structure. So, see out here, 1900 plus LTM is to TM underscore year. And, and. So, tatawagin niya yung year sa may LTM natin. So, dito kasi, na-convert na natin into local time. 
Ngayon kukunin natin yung year. So para matawag nyo yung year, tatawagin nyo yung LTM. Si LTM, kunin mo ang ibig sabihin ng araw na yan, yung TM year sa LTM. So ano ba ang year na nakuha niya sa LTM? Yun yung 2021. So move tayo sa month. Sa month na yan, sabi niya month 1 plus LTM, puntahan mo ngayon yung TM month. So, TM underscore mon naman ang kailangan nyo gawin para ang makol ninyo ay yung month. Then, next naman pag day, TM underscore M day, yan yung naman yung day naman ang tatawagin natin. So, let's say, for example, siyempre magpapakita dyan 22 kasi ngayon ay April 22, 2021. Then, next, we have the time 5 LTM, yung oras naman, TMR is 1673.56. So, makikita nyo dito, sa may part na ito, arc ang tinawag dyan, so 16 ang magpapakita. Then, next naman, we have minutes naman, so 73, then seconds, ito. So, kung makikita ninyo, gamit ang TM and yung arrow operator o yung access operator na ito na symbol, kaya nyong i-manipulate yung format ng time ninyo. Hindi kagaya dito na automatic na ganito ang nagpapakita na format. Let's say for example gusto nyong palitan yung format na yan gagamit kayo ngayon ng ganito so ng TM so yan yung um, yan yung gamit ng TM to format the time structure Thank you for watching to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon to get notification on my channel Salamat po!